That's Gary Gilmore, his second over of the day to Amos. Well bowled, and that's out! What a good delivery. The in-swinger, and umpire constant satisfied. Amos on the back foot, it was going to hit the leg stump. And a little wood. And Russell was failing to cut that off. He might just have dropped a finger on it. It looks like four runs on a very fast outfield. Dennis Lilly. I think the most surprising thing of the play so far is that uh, they're using the same wicket as they used for the last match here, which is something quite remarkable. Big expanse of middle here and having to use the same wicket again. And he's bowled him. And Gilmore having a fantastic start here. Really has looked the better of the two bowlers. Swung that ball in late, he's moved a few away. And England's second wicket going down with the score on 11. The man they were looking to to see him away is the one departing now, Barry Wood. That's a good shot. Four runs just in front of square. Timed up perfectly. That's a brilliant catch, a beautiful catch by Marsh, taking it almost out of Ian Chappell's hands. I doubt very much whether Ian Chappell will be very pleased about it, but relieved that Marsh managed to stick hold of it. So all three have fallen to Gilmore. The outswinger moving away there, Greg falling for the trap. And he's out, the third wicket's down at 26, and Tony Gregg's out for seven. Pitch to get him away, but nicely clipped through mid on, took advantage of it. It's racing down the hill for four runs. So, just about the first loose ball from Gilmore there. So, Frank Hayes. He's out, no shot. Well, that's a sad way to go. A fourth wicket for Gary Gilmore. What a spell this man is having. And England are 33 for four. And poor Frank Hayes is gone for four. Gary Gilmore, he has the remarkable figures of four for ten. There's another one whipping through, and he's out. Keith Fletcher, LBW. Fifth wicket for Gary Gilmore. Left arm over the wicket, this ball ducking into him. Well, no sooner had I said it than another big swinger from outside the off stump. The Yorker. He must have got a nick on it. Just as well he did, because I'm told, I didn't hear it myself, but uh, I'm told from down in our uh, scanner, our control van, that a little uh, nick was clearly heard. Pretty late on that. This is a magnificent spell of bowling by Gilmore. Alan Davidson would, be, would have been proud to put in a spell like this. Picture of a bowler with his tail up. Another one gone, Alan Knott out for naught. 35 for six, and Gilmore's sixth wicket for ten runs in a quite dramatic opening spell. 35 then for six.